The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo King. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. What is going on, everybody? It is David Palmer, the Leo King, and I have some announcements to make on this live Facebook message, but I also want to talk some astrology tonight, and uh, this is going to be my last live stream in the studio for, uh, I think it's going to be the next couple weeks because I'm going on a North American tour, believe it or not, So, um, and I actually want to open up with that first. So there's a lot going on. I'm going to be going on a North American tour and it's going to be on the West Coast, Pacific Coast, basically, North Pacific Northwest. And um, my first, I'm only doing two shows and the first show that I'm doing is going to be in Seattle and that venue has not been picked yet and that's going to be on the 7th. It's going to be a pre-election awesome show where I'm going to talk about the astrology I've confirmed with Rick Levine that he'll join with me too in Seattle. We're looking for a venue. So if actually I'm also reaching out to people in Seattle, if you guys know of great, great venues that could hold people and that people want to come and come for an astrology talk and a presentation, I am bringing all my live stream equipment like this. So I'll live stream it for some people uh, that can't see it, but uh, for people who want to meet in person, meet me in person in Seattle, uh, you can get tickets. They're going to be about like 30 or $40. And you can also meet with, with Rick Levine as well. And we're going to do a crazy, awesome talk in Seattle. But then on the 8th election night, I am doing a show in Portland, Oregon. And it is called uh, the Jade Lounge or the Jade Room at the something hotel, the Slide Inn or something. So um, look that up, the Jade, and it's the, the, the Slide Inn. Um People do a lot of stuff there. They do, it's like a bar. They do sh shows. It's a pretty cool spot. Um, it's a venue. And I'm going to be doing a three hour show in Portland. This one has limited seating to only 45 people. We might be able to fit 50. So um, definitely, if you're in the Portland area, if you want to spend election night, doing positivity. We're going to do a prayer. We're going to do the astrology of what's coming up. We're going to do a lot of light work at this event. Um, because I, and I'm just so happy to be in Portland, which is so crazy during election night. And I'm going to make this my election headquarters for Astro Buzz. I'm going to be doing a, a live stream there as well, but we're going to be doing more of the spiritual deeper talk stuff. So that should be really fun. And I think it's going to, um, a lot of people are going to love that talk to be able to hang out and be in person. And I do love Portland. I've never done Seattle though. So I'm actually kind of uh, interested, uh, of how Seattle's going to work out. Um, plus I know so many people from Seattle um, some people wanted me to come up to Vancouver, but unfortunately, I just I have just based off my analytics, I have more people in America than Canada, and I'll do a Vancouver trip soon because uh, I'll be up in Canada a lot more. But um, not to, not this 
trip. But uh, but if you're in Vancouver, I think Seattle's only two and a, two two hours, two and a half hours away. So if you can make it, that'd be really cool to see you on the seventh that night, post or pre election, and then the night of the election, I'm doing my big special in Portland. Got a really cool venue. Uh, it's going to be really awesome. Tickets are going to go on sale in the next day. I'm finalizing that tomorrow, so about by Wednesday. Now, my other piece of news that I want to bring up is if you want to be part of the Leo King app and make money and have a show, I am now going to start doing app auditions, but this is the audition. I need a video of you and the show idea that you have and whether you're a reader or whatever, if you're just wanting to only do readings, what makes you different? What makes you entertaining? But I need a video. So you need to send me a Dropbox link or a WeTransfer link. And you can send this video to production at hollywoodastrology.tv. So I should have put this up uh, um, on my graphics display just now, um, which I, I can do. Uh, while we're talking, but um, it's production at hollywoodastrology.tv. Now, and this is for the app auditions. Um, I don't know how many people or how many shows I'm going to be able to take on yet. I can't overload all my subscribers with a million people and they need to be the most entertaining people. So, um, I do want people to all be part of the app, but I, there, there's the email right there. Production at hollywoodastrology.tv. If you do want to be part of the Leo King app and you do want to make money and get part of, and get on my audience on the app, there is over 160,000 downloads of my app. You will be reaching 160,000 audience much bigger than my YouTube, much bigger than anything else. Um, and I take it very seriously because these are people that come to me and I'm, you know, I'm like the Anderson Cooper or the Leo King, you know what I mean? But we are, lo I'm looking for people who want to do other things and showcase their cells on the app and to make the app even have way more content and help you get exposure as well. So that's how you can get on the app. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me about that because I wasn't, I wasn't able to get back to everybody because they got hundreds of emails, but I'm going to sort through videos. So you send me a video, give me a couple of weeks to watch it, and I'm going to weed people out and do callbacks, which will be a Skype audition with me. So um, production at hollywoodastrology.tv. Now that we got all that uh, Leo King business aside, uh, people are probably wanting to get into some astrology right now, which uh, I, I kind of stayed away from the astrology this weekend, um, just because it was a new moon. I did a new moon show prior to it. We still got this new moon going. Let's actually take a look at the astrology uh, for right now. Hold on one second. Let me reload what we got going on here. Let's see. You know, I, 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 I'm going to be very honest with people. The astrology is a little dead right now. And even though you would think that it's crazy, even though the times are crazy, we just had so much happen that we're kind of feeling the aftermath of it. And it kind of is a little bit of a roller coaster where it's like, we just went through corkscrews and craziness. And why is it just smoothed off? Uh, it, it really is. If you look, the, the new moon's finishing in Scorpio. This is going to be the most Scorpio of the year for the next couple hours, which when you probably watch this recording, it's already over. Um and now we've got Mercury past the sun, and you're going to see a lot about digging up dirt, digging up and exposing things. It's no coincidence, the thing with uh, the emails and also in other departments of life with, with, with Hillary's situation. Um, uh, I've been actually seeing it in multiple different cases. Even Chris Christie, he's in uh, court now, and they're digging up all his stuff. Um, but this Mercury in Scorpio is out to dig. It's got... Um, some powerful aspects. It's got Pluto coming up to, into a sextile. So I've been, I called it last on, on a live video last week that Wednesday is going to be the day. Cause if you look at, um, the astrology, um, it's, I think Wednesday that Mercury sextiles Pluto. Yeah, it's Wednesday. And that's going to be, I think a day, especially with the moon on top of Venus 
that's going to be the day we're going to see things come more out about this uh, email situation. Um, I think that the biggest impact of stuff, which I've said time and time and time and time and time and time and time again, I've said it like 100,000 times, that I believe the day before the election with the, the, the sun square, the moon in Aquarius, uh, the Mars on its last degree of Capricorn is going to be the most intense day for the election of crazy news coming out. I don't think we've seen uh, it. That is why I'm doing a live show in Seattle that night. And that is why I'm doing a live show on the night of the election to hold positive space and help people get through this what I believe is going to be radical and crazy mind blow. I don't think people are ready because if you, and I don't want to give away everything I'm talking about, but I do want to say this, just look at the planets and, and realize that there is a major mind blow coming. That's what Sagittarius is. It blows your mind. You've never seen it before. You've never thought of it before. You've never looked at it before. You never experienced it before. There's going to be some very powerful new experiences. These are going to be some very powerful new things. we got Pluto and Saturn at the middle degrees, the night of the election. Um, and, and, and it's going to blow people's minds. People are not going to be ready for the mind blow that's coming. Uh, they're not. In the world, it's going to be shocking. we got Neptune, which is getting ready for its um, direct motion in the next 18 days. Oh, actually, I'm looking ahead at the clock. It's the second tonight. It's it's Halloween night right now. I, you know, I did Halloween this weekend, and I and I didn't even think about Halloween today. I just was like, I'm getting ready for my trip, and you know, this the Scorpio energy made me kind of stop. And I think that we all kind of had to stop and really look inside. This new moon made us go, hmm, wow, this is more intense than I really realized life is and I need to make some big change and my life is changing and it was a big preparation, this new moon that happened. And I think that I got people, you know, prepared for massive change in their life and 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 seeing where that's going to go. And, and there's a lot that we're getting prepared for here. But if you... And, and by the way, my uncut is not going to be out till Wednesday because I'm going to record it on Wednesday, uh, like somewhere in the forest somewhere. I don't want to do it here in the studio or just in my normal spot. So the uncut won't be out till Wednesday night. It's going to be a day late. The other thing that I also want to bring up, um, oh, what was it? Oh, my monthly horoscope is going to be out tomorrow morning. I'm actually about to film it after this. Uh, so I'm bringing the monthly horoscope back. So my November monthly horoscope where I break down each week, each, each transit of the whole month and what I see, that will be up tomorrow for download on inclusiveastrology.com. It will also be cheaper than it normally is. I'm going to put it at a cheaper price. So um, that will be available. Other than that, though, there will be some exposure stuff this week, but I don't think it's going to create chaos. I, I, I think there's a lot of control in the universe this week. I think that there's a lot, especially this is a sun sextile Pluto coming up week and Mercury. I'm telling you, while it's in Scorpio, th this is where all the dirt's going to come out. This is a week where everything comes up to the surface. This is where we all let everything up and we're going to sort through it all next week. And it's going to be a wild one. Plus, this is Mars at the end of Capricorn. going to try and keep everything together. But when Mars comes into Aquarius, right the day after the night of the election and into the morning, and everything has happened, be prepared. The whole world's going to spin out. The whole world's going to go into a whole different place. And I hope you're ready. I, I really hope you're ready. Um, it's going to trip you out. And, what, and you know, one thing about, especially Mars coming into Aquarius, and one thing about just the general theme of the astrology is be prepared for what you least expect. Be prepared for everything to go differently than you expect it to go, than what you're being told it's going to go. And be prepared for that, you know. And it could be a real eye-opener for a lot of people on, 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 on how I believe this next week of astrology and all the, the, the very major changes. Because you got to remember the next week after the election, you're going to see Mercury come into Sagittarius. You're going to see uh, Venus come into uh, a, a different angle as well. Uh, it's coming into Capricorn. There's going to be some major changes just next week alone. So this week's more stable than you'd think. Next week, much more intensity, much more power, much more 
erratic energy and a lot of stability. I mean, if you just look at this chart again, I mean, this is this is just November 2nd. Uh, let's look at November 3rd. Let's look at November 4th. The, the day that the sun and Venus or sun and Pluto sextile, we got the moon in Aquarius and that's Sunday. So something, some major story will come out Sunday, but it's Monday that I believe when the sun squares the moon, Mars is at 29, sun's still coming off the sextile to Pluto. Mon Sunday, Monday, those are going to be the two biggest days of the craziest crap. Tuesday is just going to be, you've heard me say it a million times. We're going to talk about it live in Seattle and live in Portland and we're going to have a really good time doing it. To hope, So I hope to see you there. So again, Seattle on the 7th. Not Haven't found the venue yet, but it will be up in the next couple of days. But just plan on me being there in Seattle. Probably going to be like a 7 or 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. thing, like a three-hour deal. And Rick, uh, pretty sure, is going to be with me. Um, and then second of all, we've also got Portland at the Jade, which is going to be at 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., and that is in downtown Portland and tickets go on sale in the next day or two. And you can also, but seating is limited for that one. I'm only allowed 45, 50 people max with some standing room for the, for the five other people in the back, but I can guarantee 45 seats. Every time I go around the nation, I always sell out. It's crazy. And then the venue gets crazy on me. So I pre-sales are definitely recommended because you can be turned down at the door, unfortunately. But if you want to hang out, talk astrology with people during the craziest time of all of our lives, I will be in the Pacific Northwest. The universe wants me there. So, um, what, what's that? Yeah, so Rick is definitely going to be there. And uh, so I'm figuring out tomorrow. I already got the Portland venue done. The Seattle venue I'll get done in the next day. Um, Rick and I are crazy manifestors like that, but it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to have Rick with me because if there's anybody in the world to spread some positive positivity and love and light with for this crazy election, it'll be him and to have some laughs. Cause I think that part of it is going to be like, we need some positive energy around the crazy storm that's coming in. Uh, next week this week I, and it's weird this week is way more stable than you'd think it is the, the the major thing that this week actually brings if we were to just do it is venus um if you look at if you look at venus this week uh it, it, it's, it's a venus week you know uh venus is going to square chiron it's going to train uranus um sun's training neptune i mean that's kind of a weak transit believe it or not and uh mercury pluto which are powerful transits but uh you know, much more just change. And, and there is stability because of Mars still in Capricorn, the moon in Capricorn, a lot of stability this week. Um, I think any instability would be uh, Tuesday or yeah, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. So Tuesday with the moon in Sagittarius, but it would be still got Saturn there to kind of hold it in. And there's nothing right now in Virgo except the North Node. So it's, it's going to be a much more stable week than I think people think. I think people got a little bit rattled over the last day. The new moon was intense and it was much deeper. It takes you way deeper than you realize. You, go, you start going down deep. It's almost like a, you know, uh, I can only imagine being like a, a sewer rat and being like, well, yeah, we're going down here. And then you go deeper and crazier and then the crap gets deeper. And you're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not, you know, you kind of go down thinking it's all good. And then you get deeper into stuff. You face fears. I, I, I felt so many fear-based stuff come up in the last 12 hours, uh, especially as the end of this moon in Scorpio was happening and uh, past Mercury and stuff. I was like, whoa, this is just a little bit too much. And, uh, you know, I, I had forgotten that there was all this Pluto energy this week coming up with all this Scorpionic energy. So this is a major change week with a lot of stability to get into next week. So... Hope to see you guys all out there on the 7th, the 8th. And then again, if you want to be part of the app and make shows for the app, I'm putting up the email. Please send your video audition, which is, and I, I'm going to be very honest with people. If it's you sitting in front of a computer, I'm probably going to, and if I really like you, I'll work with you. But I'm looking for people who have a nice camera, who understand that presentation is key, know how to make a good presentation. So uh, ho production at hollywoodastrology.tv. But this is an amazing opportunity for anybody that wants to make money and be on the app and get 160,000 people audience and be part of that. So 
Thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. Hope to see you guys all next week. I'll be posting stuff all about the events. I'll be posting stuff, of course, and the uncut's going to be coming out Wednesday. And of course, make sure you're on the Leo King app to get your videos every day, your notifications and all your sunshine horoscopes. Thank you for all the support. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys all, hopefully, well, I'll see you guys live streaming next week and stuff and on, on the app, of course, and of course with the uh, uncut. But uh, sayonara from Leo King Studios. I'll be gone for two weeks and uh, it'll be collecting some spiders in Scorpio. Take care. I'll see you guys soon. Wake up to astrology like you've never seen before.